It was okay. all it was all soaking through the bread. It was uh, disgusting. Uh, why would you do that? That sounds like something you would never do. It is the 15 minute morning show podcast. Hello everybody. Hi. 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 <laughs> there's Froggy. We got a full house today except for Nate. Nate is off for a few days. But there's Froggy and there's Scotty B and Danielle and Gandhi and Scary's chewing on some food. And there's Garrett. <laughs> Garrett. <laughs> and uh, here we are all. Here we are all. Here we all are. There. <laughs> Sentence structure. What are you eating, Scary? I was chewing on the granola at the bottom of this yogurt cup. That, um, How that, many did you have? I had two. Your I had three. Oh, wow. I had two. Wow. I had two. They were wow. tiny. They were, were they, they were tiny. Were they that good? Yeah. yeah. They were really good. They were very oh. different. I'm not a yogurt guy, but <laughs> this was sweet and awesome. Did you see? So the, what do you guys? What do you guys want to cover on the show today, you, Garrett? You, maybe what you're about to say will give us topics. Well, did you see the text that came in late in the show uh, because Danielle was talking about yogurt and someone said, "I find it interesting that Danielle can eat yogurt, but." Can't eat mayonnaise, but then she can't drink milk, but she eats yogurt. Yeah, I can. I can eat. Yo I can eat yogurt, but if I drink a straight glass of regular milk, woo, do not even come a calling because I will be. Well, that's okay, dairy, that's dairy in its purest form. Yes, it's milk. But, but duly noted. But mayo and and well, yogurt though, well, it's almost like the same texture. No, it's not. Mayo is. <laughs> no, I think I think the mayo thing for Danielle is also the smell. Oh yeah, the smell is just. I okay. can't even. Oh my gosh. Well, yogurt has a little. It'll smell. Yeah, it but does, but it doesn't smell like vinegar and eggs. No. <laughs> I ate three-day-old mayo on a sandwich the other day. It was not good. Oh. Yeah. Three-day-old mayo is mean? not the old. No, but it was it was on a made sandwich, so it was all oh, for three days. It was okay. all it was all soaking through the bread. It was uh, disgusting. Uh, Why would you do that? That sounds like something you would never do. Because well, only because I bought the sandwich for Ashley. We were going to the beach, and she didn't eat it, so it was still in the refrigerator. Uh. I'm like, I'm not throwing out a twelve dollar sandwich. So I just ate it. You ate, ma well, you ate tell you. mayo on the beach in the heat? Yeah. No, it's a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I have so much stuff in my refrigerator right now that is so outdated. But I'm going to yeah. take my chance on some of it. Oh, can I ask you a question then? <laughs> I got some old salmon in there. What? Oh, so, she's going. So, she's going to puke. No, it's not, a, it's not mayo related. I promise. Too late. Take a break. Too late. So we have a, we have a refri uh, freezer in the garage. And the other night, Ashley had her friend over. You know, they were being careless as usual, and they left the freezer open just a little bit, Ooh. so it wasn't sealed. But everything in there defrosted, but it was still cold. If I closed it and it remained and it refroze, is it okay? It depends on th the food. I think it's all different. They're all well. Different, there was okay. corn ravioli in there from Odeon, and I don't want to lose that. Ooh, I would eat that real fast. Okay. Yeah. Also, it depends how long that door was open. It was right? open all night long. Oh. So there was ice cream in there that was still in the container, but it was just soft. So it's now it's refrozen. Right. But well, was it is, soft or was it like soup? Soft. Well, okay. but this is when start, stuff starts to get crystals on it and things like that. Yeah. When you, yeah. I don't know. Then I'll just give it to my dad. Oh my god. Okay, do that. Yeah, he's cheap. He'll love it. <laughs> Are you not supposed to eat it when it has crystals on it? It just doesn't taste right anymore, right? When no, you just cook a, it. you know, ice cream with crystals is not my favorite. Yeah, I read that the key to keeping the little freezer burn or whatever the crystals are from forming on ice cream. Yeah, you flip it upside down. Oh, really? Upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I don't know why. Speaking but. of parents, I went to my parents' house for uh, dinner last night. Dude, it was the best food I've eaten in a long, oh, long time. You told time. me earlier, tell them what you had. It's mouthwatering. My mom made, made a beef roast with mashed potatoes, uh, some some biscuits, uh, corn, gravy. Oh, it was so, oh. so good. Oh, my mom, nice. they, my, my, my parents know I'm home alone. I, I don't know if they think I'm not going to eat for a week or whatever. <laughs> but so my mom's like, I want to cook a, a, a meal for you if you'll c come over. So I went over to my parents last oh. night and spent, oh. spent the evening with them. Yeah. Your southern roots. So good. Oh, it was so, so good. <laughs> Did you bring some home? No, she tried to get me to take the last piece of, uh, of meat home, but I saw I saw my dad looking in the in the pot, oh. and she said, um, why don't you take it home? And I saw my dad look at give me that eye. I'm like, no, nah, he wants that. So I, <laughs> <didn't>. <laughs> I said, I'm good. I said, Let's stay in here. I, I, he bet you, I bet you it's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is, too. <laughs> and there you have it. Aww. I love leftovers. A lot of people can't eat leftovers. Oh. Are you, any of you, the, the oh. non-leftover? No, Never I used to. Leftovers. They're like my favorite food dude, Yeah, next to sauce. I don't take leftovers home from my family. <laughs> I won't eat leftover pizza. I, you oh. won't? I will. That's oh. all I'll eat. Leftover cold pizza, I'll eat all day I, long. Yeah. I have leftovers from... I collect them during the week. Yeah. I don't like when like the gravy forms and it get, it's got the hard pieces in it, and then you got to heat it up. That what is that? That's like the coagulated well, that's, grease. That's, yeah. The fat is coming together. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is. I, I, that, I can't eat that. That fat is still there, whether it's hot or cold. Oh, it's right. just in different formations. It's in your body too. It. Stir it. It's fine. 
Nah. Delicious. Sometimes <laughs> nah. the leftovers don't even make it like into the warmer. I'm like eating the ch- cold chicken as I'm <laughs> taking it across the room to put it in the microwave or yeah. in the stove. I'm like, what am I going to do? I keep eating. Yep. So I have chicken thighs in the refrigerator, and it said sell by date was five days ago. Mm-hmm. That's sell by. Yeah. yeah, you're oh, good. You you're can right. do that. Yeah, you're yeah. definitely well, good. I, but you know, here's the thing with, with chicken and other meats: it's better, it's best to feel them, and if they're really slimy, then oh. you know it's probably oh, too yeah. late. Yeah. In a, in a, of course, there's always the sniff test. So slime and sniff. Yeah. Say it with me. Slime, slime and, and sniff. sniff. Okay, what about best buy right. date? Like I had a yogurt and it said yeah. Best Buy and it was like three or four days ago. So I had it's a fight fine. with my yeah, I had a fight with my youngest son because he's like, I can't use this. It's Best Buy. I go. Best Buy does not mean it's right. bad. They're trying to they're trying to make those dates more uniform, but it's just not happening. There's Best Buy, there's Sell Buy, there's Expired. Yeah. There's there's so many different things, and Use my kids buy. are the same way. If it's the date, they were like there were pretzels that were like I don't know maybe 20 days old. Oh, we can't eat those. No, you. They're pretzels. Right. They're well, pretzels. If, it's, if it says use by and it's the day after, like what's going to happen? What yeah, is but the best buy means that it was it tasted better by that date. Five days ago, it tasted pretty good. You don't know what it's going to taste like now. <laughs> I always roll the dice. I'm like, eh, it's worse it could happen. You know, yeah, there's, well. there's an app that I've been using. It's called Flash Food. And so it partners with local supermarkets. And so the supermarket will find stuff on the shelves that the Best Buy date is like that day or the next day. And they sell it for an incredible discount. And you oh. can just you can buy it to the app. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, way that's you, good. you're eliminating food waste. Right. I think yeah. that's a great idea. Yeah, they usually put a sticker on that and it says manager, manager special. special. Yes, yeah. that's the bread. <laughs> they do that with the bread all the time. Like you can get three loaves for the price of one. I'm like, why no. is it a special? Dude, yeah. Because no. it's old. You go to a restaurant and they got manager surprise. That's all the <laughs> shit that they're just trying to get out before that's it right. expires. Don't eat that. That stuff, dude. <laughs> I'm, this conversation is making me hungry. I, I need know, to go I'm eat so some, hungry. Yeah. some rotten Froggy leftovers. As soon started describing his food, I was like, ooh, what am I going to eat for That sounds good. Yeah. I think, you know what, I'm going to take a page out of the Danielle book today oh. and drive to our new favorite Japanese restaurant for some uh, some hibachi. Oh, oh. so oh, nice. Yeah. So oh. delicious. But, you know, here's the thing. This restaurant we go to, it, you can either go to the hibachi area where you have to sit with other people, mm-hmm. right? Or you go upstairs and they'll serve you hibachi in their regular restaurant. Hibachi to me is such a social event. Going by myself, even though I could eat dinner by myself at a bar, eating dinner for, for, by myself at a hibachi show, basically, I don't know if I can do that. Well, oh my all, God. Yeah, yeah it's awkward different. because at that table, though, like you, you have families of like four or six. So you're the guy like right in the middle. You know oh, they I mean? actually like, put right. you, they stick you with the people. Because oh, they're not going to open up a grill just for you. No. That would be I odd. I don't think so. No. No. Oh my God. I never thought of that. Price or you right, have to though. sit all the way on the corner when everybody else gets to join in. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because it's not like you're just sitting at a bar and drinking and having a hamburger. It's a show. Yeah. It really is. Right. Speaking of. And I want to talk about this on our show show tomorrow. Gandhi had tickets for Chappelle last night. Duh. And no one no one could go. I, I couldn't go. I'm not in the city. I, yep. I would do anything to see that show. And so what did you end up doing? I ended up not going, and I'm kicking myself about it today because I should have just gone by myself and said, F it. But then I was like, mm, do I really feel like coming back at midnight by myself? I don't know if that's a good idea. And I chickened out, and I'm so dumb for doing that because I can't see him the other days that he's here. He's at Madison Square Garden. He's one of my favorite comedians in the world. I know the show's going to be amazing, and I didn't go. Curse. So, question. Mm-hmm. Yes. Had it been an earlier show or whatever, the, the going home at midnight thing was not a, a, a piece to the puzzle, mm-hmm. would you have gone to a comedy show by yourself? Yeah, I would have gone. Because it's not like you're talking to people during the show. You're just going right. and you're laughing. And, I mean, I'm sure that to a lot of people there, they'd have been like, who's a crazy chick laughing all by herself? But <laughs> I don't care because I would have gotten to see Chappelle. I think it's different. Like, I wouldn't – I don't think I would go to a comedy club by myself, but I'd go to a theater that has seats. Yeah. Because who knows? It's dark, you know? So is the comedy show. Yeah, but they could see you sitting there by yourself and they – And then they the find garden. you and they're like – then they start razzing on you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, who are, who are they? Garden. I don't think he's going to scan the crowd. Not, there's no one looking for you. No one's looking for any of us but at no, these shows. At, no, <laughs> at, I, I understand. 
understand what Scotty's yeah. saying. Like, if you're going to the garden to see Chappelle, it's one thing to go yeah. by yourself. But if you're going to, like, a place where they serve food and alcohol and oh, you're yeah. sitting, they may be like, hey, you, little girl who's by yourself, what's the matter right. with you? You know, like, and pick on yeah. you. Well, that I was the... I'd rather get razzed by myself than get <laughs> razzed by so- with somebody I know so that they get to see me getting picked on, too. Right. You know, go that ahead. was the interesting dynamic at the Matt Reif show the other night in Atlantic City. Um, he played an arena. So he was at this arena... You know, he really couldn't do the crowd work. He's known for comedy clubs and going back and forth and being extremely laser sharp and quick, doing improv and, and right there with, with, with people. So I kind of, you know, I felt like he might was at a bit of a disadvantage. He still had an amazing act. But, um, you know, when you're on a big stage like that and the lights are in your face, it's hard to get that closeness to the people, in the, you know, yeah, if you're that's true. strong you students comedy there. clubs. Yeah. And typically when you're on in an arena, you can't even see the front row because yeah. the lights are always so yeah. bright. Yeah. Hey, well, look, uh, thanks for the invite, though, Gandhi. You're I know welcome. that I'm yes. the only one you invited. Thanks for the invi- invi- Wait, invited. Yeah. Me no, too, he, she invited exactly. me. So- yeah. Wait a see, second. Okay. Chop liver. I'm chop liver. <laughs> Who did no. she invite first? Elvis. <gasps> you bastard. What? <laughs> when you <laughs> called me got- yesterday, what number was I? <laughs> What's that, Garrett? <laughs> Well, everybody thinks it's like, oh, I was first. Elvis, you would have been first no matter what in this. In, That's in this not true. Group, but in this group, like, uh, but but rightfully so. Like, why no, would you call you, uh, Scary versus you? You went out uh, on that. But it one. wasn't about. It was about. She wanted to hang out. Of course, she, yeah. she, she made, made me out. sound like I was she the only person she called. Me. I sure for did not. She offered me all the tickets for my family. She yep. was like, "Do you want to just go with the family? I'm Look, not going to go." Was that whatever. before or after you called me? Before. Scary, you have to understand. There is a inviting hierarchy here, and we know who sits on the top of that. hierarchy. <laughs> no, there's not. Yes, there is. Wait, did you call producer Sam and Coaster Boy Josh and oh, Andrew okay. before you know, me? This is, yes. uh, guys, this, this is turning into an, an unnecessary part of our day. So I, we will I let that go. Knew. She told me she asked a bunch of people first. She was very honest with me. It's been a great 15-minute morning show podcast. <laughs> scary. Is that rude to ask somebody when they ask you to go somewhere? So, what number am I on your invite list? Who else have you invited? We'll be there now. I'll be very honest about it. <laughs> you know what my favorite thing is? If something like that comes across, and then I see everyone else's texts, and they're cut and paste text to all of us. <laughs> I'll just, Elvis said no. I'll paste one to Danielle. <laughs> all right, we got to get out of here. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a beautiful day. Bye.